This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Brandi Hicks. And I'm Dan Kleffler with the top stories on this Monday, August 25th. We begin with a tremendous cleanup effort in Napa, California. After the region's most powerful earthquake in a generation, the magnitude 6.0 quake sent nearly 200 people to the hospital and severely damaged nearly 100 homes. Gas and water mains were ruptured, sparking fires and cracking buildings. Good news, though, for thousands of people right now, residents that were left in the dark as nearly all the power has been restored to the area. More than two weeks after he was shot to death by a police officer, Michael Brown is being laid to rest today in Ferguson, Missouri. That shooting touched off nights of angry protests in the St. Louis suburb, but the last several nights have been calmer. Brown's father is asking for a halt in the violence so that his son might be buried in peace. Now to the latest sleep study and how early morning classes impact adolescent health. It concludes the teens who have to wake up too early for school become sleep deprived and that it says leads to poor performance in the classroom. As a result, the American Academy of Pediatrics is now calling on doctors to fight for later school start times. And finally, Miley Cyrus shocking the Video Music Awards crowd again, but this time for all the right reasons. Her video for Wrecking Ball won best video of the year but she sent a young homeless man named Jesse to accept the award. Miley tearing up as Jesse explained he was accepting the award on behalf of the nation's homeless youth. Good to see you a year later. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Brandi Hitt. And I'm Dan Kleffler. Thanks for watching us. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.